Hi guys, it's Night Fear. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been around, but as you can po probably hear, um, I've been sick. I still am sick, but there's a couple videos that I need to film, so I hope that you just bear with me. Um, my voice is pretty okay today. Um, it has sounded worse. It kind of comes and goes. I think I have the flu. Christopher, little Christopher brought it home to us, and he's been sick for two weeks now, and it's just, uh, it's horrible. But I went to Ollie's a couple days ago because they had they were having their big kind of Christmas sale, and they had fifty fifteen percent off everything in the store, and then twenty five percent off of their Christmas and toys. And so I got some books. Now, mind you, I the stack that I originally had was probably double this, but I wanted to get some things for the kids and some other things, so I kind of had to um, put some books back. But I wanted to share with you. Um, what I I got so um the first thing that I got was the Shadow Hunters Codex uh, by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis um this was normally ten ninety nine I got it for two dollars and ninety nine cents um basically I think this is kind of just a thing that goes along with the Shadow Hunters um world and kind of like explains things a little bit more um. I don't know why I keep buying these books because I haven't even read one yet. Um, but I mean, I keep seeing them on sale and so I pick them up as I see them, um, for cheap. I have a feeling I'll probably like this. Um, cause I did like the movie and then I, I was watching this, the show and then I, I didn't, don't have cable anymore. So I haven't been watching it lately. Um, but then I decided also that I, I want to read the books instead of kind of, watching the show. So yeah, so I bought this. Um, my fiance actually, cause he kind of looks with me sometimes and he does pick up some books. I have never heard of this one. I don't know. I have no, no idea of the ratings or anything, but it's called knocking on heaven's door. It's by Charmin apt Russell. Um, and this is a book about, um, it's in the future and basically there was a plague and so it killed most of the humans and um they have even though the the humans that are still around they've kind of um the science has kept growing and they have brought some of the prehistoric animals back um and so they found out that the prehistoric animals actually have um telepathy <clears throat> and so this is about kind of it's like 150 years since that happened and and it's like is man going to go back to the way they were or or what else is going to happen it sounds really interesting and originally it was 24.99 and i paid 2.99 so it does sound really good so i thought and it and it says um it it says dystopian sci-fi and i'm like and then set 200 years in the future. I'm like, okay, that's me. I, I, that's all I need to know. <laughs> Dystopian sci-fi. <laughs> um, the next one I got is um, The Outlaws of Sherwood by uh, Robin McKinley. She wrote Beauty, which I love. I also own another book by her. It's a dragon one. And I can't remember the name of it. I haven't read it yet. Um, that, as you can see... Oh, it doesn't have their price. Um, well, it's eight ninety nine on the back here, and then I only paid a dollar ninety nine for it. Um, so this is like a, a retelling of Robin Hood, and I really like her books, the ones I've read. So I decided I'd get another one, especially, um, <coughs> excuse me, at only a dollar ninety nine. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm excited to read this one. Um, and then this one is another author that I actually have a book for. Um, I own The Serpent King by him. This is Goodbye Days by Jeff Zentner. Um, and I have read the book and it made me bawl. So I decided I would pick up this one, which is also by him. Um, and it, it says their price, $9. I paid $2.99. And this one is about a, I think it's a boy. Um... Um, da, 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 he, okay. Yes. It's a boy. Um, 
a boy sends a text of something of where, where are you or what are you doing? Oh, where are you guys texting me back? And, um, when the, his friends receive this text, they're actually driving. They look at the text and they end up, um, getting in a car crash and dying. And so people are blaming him. He's going to court and possibly being charged, um, with their deaths. Uh, and then people are wanting to do goodbye days with him, which are kind of like, you know, um, spending time with him and remembering his friends. So I have a feeling this is another one that's going to totally rip my heart out. Um, but I, like I said, I really enjoyed the Serpent King. Um, the writing was amazing and I just, I still remember that book. Uh, and sometimes books kind of fade for me, but no, the Serpent King stayed around. So I decided, and especially at two ninety nine, I decided I would get another of his books and try it and see if I like it. Um, another author that I have, except for I haven't, I I have read a book by her, but it's not the one that I um own. I actually own Brown Girl Dreaming, but I haven't read that one yet. I read another one of her books and I can't remember what it was called um, and really liked it. But this is called If You Come Softly um, by Jacqueline Woodson. Um, it doesn't give their price, but it, I only paid $1.99. I don't think it has. Oh, $17.99. $17.99. And I only paid $1.99. And this is about a Jewish girl and a black boy who fall in love and kind of the consequences of that. And, um, the other book I have from her is told in verse. This one is not, um, but it is a short book and it sounds like a really good book. Um, and like I said, I really liked her other book that I read. I can't remember. Wait a minute. Maybe I can remember really quick. Um, no, it doesn't have it on here. But anyway, like I said, I own Brown Girl Dreaming and I really, really need to get that one read also. But yeah, I saw this and I was like, oh yeah. Um, and I think I had this on a couple of um, wish lists. Um, so yeah, now I own it. I'm excited. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, this is one that I have never heard of. It's called Snowman, A Harry Moon Adventure. Um, and this is created by Mark Andrew Poe. It is a graphic novel. Um, Kaylin loves graphic novels, and so do I. Um, and I thought this one sounded kind of interesting. This is kind of a sl Sleepy Hollow kind of a... I don't know if you'd say retelling, um, but it has to do with Sleepy Hollow. And so I love the naked. And then the back looks just like the back of the um, dust jacket. And then it's got something on the inside. Um, but yeah, it's... it. it looks really cool and I'm excited. I actually only own one other graphic novel and I want to start buying more. And this one was originally $24.99. I got it for $2.99. Um, so I'm hoping that they'll have some more, um, in this, uh, series. Cause I guess he's writing, this is like a series of this kid and his bunny and their adventures. So or I'm, and his bunny's name is Rabbit, which I thought was kind of cool. So, yeah, that one looks really cool. And then another one I'm really excited um, for is An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. Kaylin and I were listening to this on audiobook, um, but for some reason it's because, like, we couldn't get it together. Either she didn't want to listen or I didn't want to listen, and we never finished it. And I think we're, like, probably three-quarters of the way done. Um and this, it says the original price was $10. As you can see, it was a Walmart book for $8.78, but I got it for $2.99. And this is about um, a girl. Well, it's about a world where fairies, um, the fae, do come into contact with, with people. And she is a painter, um, and she ends up painting one of the princes. And I can't remember. I think it's... Is it the summer or the spring? I can't remember which one he is, but he's the prince of that court. And she paints him too lifelike and th some things happen. Um, it was really good. The audiobook was hilarious. Um, and I'm excited to have this copy. Um, Kaylin was actually really excited too. And she's like, oh, mom, we really need to listen to finish listening to that. So I'm excited and um, to have this physical so I can 
um, reread this in physical form also. Now the last book I got, I'm going to move these out of the way. Um, but the last book I got, um, was, I just, I saw it on the shelf and it was one of those, I was like, oh, I'll never be able to afford that because of the way the, you'll see. Um, and the price was reasonable. So anyway, this, I saw this cause of course it was like this on the, um, and I was like, oh, what is that? Um, and it is, um, the Percy Jackson's Greek heroes. Uh, it is by Rick Riordan and illustrated by John R Rocco. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm sure this book is probably gonna be 20 bucks. No. Do you see that? So there, this is their price, $24 and 99 cents. Their, the Ollie's price was $3 and 99 cents. I got this book for $3 and 99 cents. I could not believe it. Um, yeah. So I'm just like, wow. And it's just, I mean, it's gorgeous. The, I mean, look at the, the, the end pages, the naked is gorgeous. I mean, it's just, and it's got this like, oh, it's just so beautiful. Um, and then it's just basically Percy's retelling of, of different Greek myths, like really strange Greek myths. Um, you know, with some illustrations here and there. And I'm just, I, oh, I'm so excited. Um, and I do have three different, um, ones. I have the, all the Percy Jackson, I have all of the canes and I have all of the one other one. I have all of them, but I, I mean, I have the, the books themselves, not like the additional stuff. So I'm excited to have, um, one of the kind of additional, uh, things to go along with those books. So, yeah, so I, I think I did pretty good. <clears throat> and now mind you, these books were all 15% off the price that I said. So basically, cause here in Tennessee, um, tax is like nine point, was it's 9.5, 9.75, something like that. <clears throat> Ouch. So basically it's 10% tax. And then, so you, you know, you got five, so tax free plus 5% off of the books. So I think that's pretty amazing. Um, and the books are already pretty reasonable. So, um, yeah. So like I always say after my Ollie's hauls, guys, if you have an Ollie's near you and, uh, you haven't gone and you like to read, I would go. Um, they also have coloring, um, coloring, adult coloring books. Um, I did find a, uh, Johannes Bassford's coloring book there one time. Um, that's kind of rare, but some of them get different things. Um, you can find, um, art supplies. I got some post-it notes and some nice pens and things. So you can find, or, or and you can find like, um, what do you call it? Uh, I can't remember. There's a name for it, but like, like pens, pencils, notebooks, um, three ring binders, that kind of stuff. They also have great deals on food, cereal. Um, you know, they also have like rugs and, um, pots and pans and stuff like that. Other different things, but I go there mostly for books <laughs> because I can't, and these are all brand new books. I mean, where are you going to find a hardback book for $1.99? Um, and I haven't, I think the most I've paid was $5.99 or $6.99. And that was for one of my, um, Stephen King books. Oh, I also got a crock book cookbook and that one was $9.99. Um, that was, <clears throat> hold on, give me one second. Oh, I can't reach it. It is a, um, one of the binder types, the three ring binder, like almost like a, um, a Betty Crocker cookbook. Um, and it's actually a crock pot brand, um, cookbook. So, but yeah, I'm excited about my haul. Um, and there is actually a readathon coming up in January, um, that you might see some of these books on the TBR for. So, um, but yeah, guys, um, I'm going to be coming on here in, a, um, just a little bit with my, um, planner set up for 2020. I need to get that video done. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And I just really hope you guys are just patient with my voice. Um, please remember to always be kind to one another and I will see you again soon. Bye.